and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Yesterday I did a video regarding Yuan, which was actually redubbed by Funimation, and they've actually changed lines of dialogue. And these lines of dialogue which have been changed, these are mostly to help Funimation and the people who are doing these shows so they can put their own agendas and their own political prowesses into them. And the problem with all of this is, a lot of people do not want that to happen. Because the original lines, because a lot of people, you know, they watch subs and everything else, they know exactly what's being said. And then when you change something just to shoot your, shoot? Just to suit your own agenda, that is one of the worst things going. And to be honest with you, one of the things that cracks me up regarding all of this is the one that I was talking about yesterday when obviously in Yuan, someone changed the line from, oh, how crude to you're a misogynist. How can you go from crude to that? You know? That's one of the big things that cracked me up with that, and I was a little bit like, right, okay. But I have been told that the person who has done those script changes, they have been doing those sort of things for a while. And we're going to look at something now, which, again, this is regarding the one and only Jamie Markey. And this is some of the things that she has said online. Well, this is coming from my man Jeff on Twitter. Shout out to Jeff. Shake my head. I thought maybe she had decided to cut her losses and stop being an immature child to people on Twitter. I thought wrong. And the two tweets that she has said, the first one was, Just remember, if there are any line changes on any anime, any script, anything ever that offend anyone who unironically uses terms like SJW and feminist agenda, I wrote them. I wrote them all. Again, she's trying to have digs at people, and this just goes to show how much of an immature child she really is. For someone who's approaching nearly 50, and this is what she's saying, that's just unbelievable craziness. Because I look at that and I'm just thinking to myself, wow, you will really just put anything out on Twitter just so people can notice you. That's how bad these people have become now. They're like, oh, People are, you know, they're slowly forgetting about certain things that are happening now. Obviously, she's being dismissed and the appeals are coming. But she's like, oh no, I best keep my name out there. I best say something stupid. And this is exactly what she's doing. And there's one thing as well, as she tweeted yesterday. So someone said, that's a real smug way to say I take other people's work and edit them to fit my own agenda. And, which is true, because that is exactly what she's doing. She's taken other people's work, other people who've worked countless hours on changing and, you know, making those scripts, you know, writing everything else, the story, the characters, what their agendas are, and even the artists. But then she comes along and just changes it just to fit her own agenda by being, huh, as one up on you, innit? And she just had to reply with, I have the best agendas. And it's just like, come on now, you are literally being one of the most sloppiest and one of the most childish people on Twitter. You are nearly there with LJ Montello and Mazba and all these people. You're almost up there with them because they literally just cannot help themselves. Again with you, you seem to have a problem with biting your tongue. You have to say something. If someone says something, you have to go out there and you have to basically throw it in their face. Because, again, why would you want customers, right? You know? You don't want customers anymore. You don't want people to pay you. So you thought you're just like, yeah, how can I jeopardize my own career? I know, I'll attack the fans and the customers who buy stuff from Funimation. The ones who pay me. That's exactly what's happening now. And I've also been told by Little Birdie that supposedly Funimation, they have lost somewhere in the region to twenty to 30,000 subscriptions. That's what I've been told. I'm not too sure if it's real or not. And at this moment in time, there's no way I can clarify that. But I will be looking into it. And... It's just weird when to think that you had all those people before all this crap started. And a lot of those people who have actually supposedly unsubscribed is not because of this whole VM thing. It's because of the way Monica, Jamie, all these people are acting towards people at conventions. And the way they just speak to normal people on Twitter and other forms of social media. 
that just goes to show that these people, they just don't want to put up with you. You know, they're showing you, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, I'll put your money where your mouth is. Well, they have. They've unsubscribed from you. They're not, you know, you're not going to be getting that revenue every month, that guaranteed revenue, which was there for Funimation. They are not going to get it because of the way you're all acting. And the way you're acting is childish and immature. You keep going on about, oh, these people are saying this, look at them, ha ha. But you're the ones who have been the worst, most possiblest way on Twitter of being childish. You're throwing your toys out of your pram. And I think it's really funny, but I will need to look into this supposed high number of people unsubscribing from Funimation. But to be honest with you, though, it does seem a very high number. But it wouldn't surprise me if it is in the thousands of how many people have unsubscribed to it. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see all you wonderful people soon.